Hey guys, Davis here. Welcome back to Tech Junkie. In today's short video, I will show you how to set up certificate authority for your infrastructure or service. We will set up two enterprise CA server. That's one wood CA and one subordinate CA. Some calls it intermediate CA. Uh, first of all, um, both server uh, need to join the domain, which I did already. For the 111.103 that would be the root CA, uh, CA01 and the other one is CA02 with IP 111.104 Let's install the roles for the server first Okay, install the Active Directory Certificate Services. For the root CA, I only install the Certification Authority. And for the subordinate CA, I will install the Certificate a certification authority and um, the certificate rep enrollment. Rep enrollment, yep. Um, that's uh, a thing though, uh, it's just after you installed the certificate um, roles, you cannot change the domain, uh, Domain uh, either join the domain or leave the domain and you cannot change the computer name of the, of the server. Yeah, you have to um, do everything first, um, join the domain, uh, give it a proper name and then uh, install the roles. Um, let me save some time for you. Let me pause the video. Okay, the rows are installed. Um, on the root CA server, let's click on that. Um, to configure the rows, um, you have to be the root domains, uh, domain admin or the enterprise admin. Um, demo admin01 is the domain admin of the root domain which is the simple letter int so we are good to go okay certification authority next enterprise CA this will be the root CA yes we I don't have a private key with me so create a new private key so uh key length 4k 4k is good uh SHA um 256 okay for the common name um I would like my WCA's name to be the domain name the default name is the server name but I change it to the root so uh, it is simple lab uh, root CA next okay for a lab uh, let's change it to 20 years default location okay uh, we will review everything not much that we need to uh, uh, aware of okay that's it that's it for the root CA okay why would we need um, a root CA and a subordinate CA uh, because in many security practices uh, they will leave the uh, e certificate signing and certificate issuing um, uh, on the subordinate CA server uh, the, and 
they will net the root CA server uh, disconnected for security reason. So uh, we will do the same in this lab. So uh, configure this one. Next, yes, CA and web and Roman. Um, to a enterprise CA, but I am a subordinate CA. No private key. Create a new one. Yes. Uh, key length 4K. Next. So, like uh, many article in the internet, just uh, give it a easier name for differentiating the the CA servers. Simple lab issuing CA. That's good. Next. Um, as we are in the same domain, uh, we don't have to uh, generate a request and give the request to the server to sign it, sign it and get the certificate back. We can simply choose the first option and then select the root CA for this step. So next, next, configure. Cool. Well, guy, that's it. Um, pretty much uh, as simple as that. Uh, we installed the RCA and the subordinate, subordinate CA. In the next video, I will show you how to um, uh, generate a uh, certificate for our services. Um, basically, is the uh, web certificate for the vCenter server and the LDAP, uh, LDAP as certificate for the domain controller. We need that for the um, source identity. We can use domains uh, domains user to log in the recent vCenter. I will show that in the next video. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Thanks.